Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another West Coast exclusive. You know how we do it. Let me put the music up. Get that going and rolling. Uh, today is a very special video. One of a kind. Very, very blessed to have this. Was a little pricey. More than what I wanted to pay. Uh, for the condition it was. A buddy of mine, who I met through the comments of my YouTube channel, he invited me to his uh, Facebook group, which I am now part of, and I am an author of now, me and another guy. Uh, the love and the passion we have for Echo, is, you can easily see it in that channel, in that, well not channel, in that uh, group, and I uh, really like that, and uh, if you would like to see it, let me know, and uh, go check it out, definitely cool. I have... Today's feature, I mean package, is this, definitely cool, uh, looks like the guy put it in cardboard, uh, no, it's full, you know, something one of a kind, one of a kind, very blessed to have, today in the background, I have Viva La Raza, or Viva, no, Viva El Chicano, uh, this group, never heard of them, uh, a long time ago, I brought some CDs, and all the ones I didn't know of or, or had no clue of what they were, tossed them aside, put them in the shoebox. There they, but you know what? Let me go through the shoebox, see what I can find if I've missed anything. And uh, I look closely at, at the letters, and then and it said, Viva el Chicano. I am a Chicano. I was, uh, my parents are from Mexico. I was born and raised here in California. I'm a Chicano, proud Chicano. And when I was like to hear heritage music stuff that evolves around my culture, and when I came across this, I was a little surprised. I'm gonna check it out, see what it was. Turned out to be cool. I uh, definitely recommend them if you're Chicano, if you're Mexican. Definitely some cool. How you can read? How you can see that? says Viva and Chicano their very best and a whole bunch of songs uh, basically it's like Chicano instrumentals in a way you know it's just music it's just like sounds and you know rhythm of the Chicanos of what they were doing back then I don't know how old this is uh, from the videos it was black and white so I'm assuming 60s maybe 50s who knows you have information about this and who they are let me know down below. I would love to know more about them. Uh, I have been checking out the music. It's amazing. I love learning stuff about my culture and where I come from and, you know, what's in the past. I thought that would go perfect with what I have here. You already know by the title and by what it is. That's a thumbnail. But it's definitely a cool piece. The guy originally wanted 37 it's like $29.99 for like seven in shipping. And for the condition that it was, it wasn't really that bad of a price, you know, to go right ahead and purchase it. Uh, a buddy of mine, who is a real big heavy echo collector, who is the owner of the Facebook group, uh, I asked him about it because, you know, he, he has knowledge of like what, no, what normal people would have. And he told me he's never seen it. Never knew it existed. He's seen so many shirts. Never seen that one for sale. He's daily looking on eBay, Macari, all those other sites. He said he's never seen it. It intrigued me. He knew already. I would love it. And he told me ways how I can restore this shirt back to his original way. And uh, I am not planning on wearing this at all. Let me get someone to open this up. I plan on restoring it. And just keeping it as a display piece. I never knew this existed, by the way. I seen the character before, just never seen this actual design. So that intrigued me. So now what I'm gonna do is basically just restore it, fix all the holes that it has, the tear, and then just change the tag, and that's it. And then just basically put it somewhere where I can display it, or or even just you know, I'm planning on getting one of those clear. You know, coat hang, not clear coat hangers, a clear 
yes. shirt protective, you know, the ones that are kind of like a clear plastic thing that goes around like jackets and whatnot when you store them. I feel like getting that just to have it display it nice. Oh, this is fancy. So let me try to, like I said, this is something really special, something I really do am glad to have. So like I said, he wanted 37 for it. Uh, I was gonna pay 37. Uh, I told him uh, uh, that uh, I seen a shirt. No, that's not real. I asked my my buddy of mine what they're worth. You know what would be a good price price to ask. He said roughly 22 to 23 because of the condition. He's never seen it, so he thought you know 22. Usually a shirt like that would go for like 30, not 30, 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, but since it's a rare shirt and you know. And a shirt that uh that's in pretty much condition that's used. Twenty two to twenty three would be fair. Okay, I, I asked the guy. Did you only do twenty? He did twenty plus like seven bucks in shipping, which wasn't that bad. It was like twenty twenty. It was actually like thirty bucks in total, to be honest. So I don't know anything about the. The, the art. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Y'all seeing this? This of a beast of a shirt. Oh my, oh my lord. Lord, oh lord. Just, uh, oh man, this echoes, uh, iconic character used in uh, many items. Never seen this. I've looked and looked and nothing on Google, nothing anywhere. No info about this shirt. Buddy of mine that is the, uh, big collector, he told me that he's never seen it. He, he assumes it's early 2000 and 2003 era. High quality, definitely thick. As you can see, the shadows right here. Shadow of the bike. Just the art, literally in good condition. There's a few areas where it is like cracked, like right here in the leg. Areas like that, but as you can see here on the bike, Echo Unlimited tire is Fuego, Fuego, man. Definitely, the thing he told me was, well, I didn't. He didn't tell me. I saw right away was the tag was all fucked up. As you can see, I am planning on taking this tag off and restitching a new one on there. Like I said, I am planning on restoring it. He did mention a few holes, like one hole, and a few, like, you know, dots that were there, stains, as you would say. So this is an XL classic t-shirt, 100% cotton, made in Colombia. XL, by the way. But, uh, yeah, definitely cool, definitely unique. There is the back, as you can, I already can see that. There is the shadow of the bike with the dude on there. As most of you already know, I am a lowrider bike owner. That's the reason why I had to get this no matter what. And uh, yeah, here, here is the one of the tears that I saw that he did not mention on the, on the post. Here is the hole which I am planning on fixing a mesh I was heard something like that could work as well it's small it's pretty small this one down here is a little bit more bigger the tear but uh hopefully I can fix it like I said I'm not gonna wear this at all never never gonna wear it it's gonna be a display piece it's one of those statement pieces other than that it's in amazing condition he didn't mention a few white spots which I will definitely gonna to try to 
to take off here and there. I'm just shocked Echo released something like this, and I never knew. It's something, you know, the 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 guy, that the, uh, my friend of mine that I met through here, the owner of the Vazor Group, he's been collecting since it's been out, since like the 90s. And he's been constantly going to stores. Every time a piece that comes out that he that he likes, he buys. He owns at least a hundred and vests in jackets. I clearly own two hundred and just shirts. Everything incomplete. He has at least I'm assuming close to a thousand. And he's never seen a shirt like this. That tells you something. Uh, the condition there is, it is pretty bad condition. Uh, two tears. That's why it was so uh, cheap. That's why I asked for cheaper because, you know, a shirt like that, no matter if it's, no matter what kind of shirt it is, if it's in bad condition, you gotta sell it cheap. Uh, I'm gonna restore this, put it back to life, try my best, and, you know, yeah, to have it as a display piece. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh hope you guys did too i'm gonna link the guy's ebay account that's just, that uh send me that shirt down below definitely a cool dude uh yeah, like i said i'm gonna link down his store go check him out He's, he has some other stuff too that you might like that's vintage shout out to you my guy um i'm drawing a blank on what your ebay account is but most definitely, I'm going to have it down below. I'll link in the description. Go check them out. He has a few other stuff. Shoes as well. He has Echo pants. No, Echo shirts and whatnot. It wasn't for him. I want to have this. He told me it's for a friend that he was selling it for. And no information on where he got it and how he got it. Oh, uh, cool. Then they're going to do some more research on it. And hopefully down the future I can find more. And if I do, I'm stacking them, right? But... Fast, whoosh, mine. Uh, came about pretty quickly, you know. I heard it on Monday, I believe. Monday or Tuesday. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and uh, like this, like, like and subscribe. You'll be seeing more of this going down, most definitely. And like the CD, Viva El Chicano! Yeah. Viva Mexico, Cabo Verdes! Yeah, yeah.